Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to Butte, the 2022 Butte St. Patrick's Day Parade. I'm Chet Lehman, John, Amy. It seems like we've waited for years for this yes, day. Most definitely. Two years without a parade right. in Butte, Montana. This is a tradition that people don't even remember how far back it goes. And, and the two years gone, there's... People are missing it. You and I have been a part of this parade yeah. in one way or another for a long time. I don't know if I've ever seen any better crowd today. This is great. I, I haven't seen any better weather in a long time either. <laughs> You're right. It's almost like it was meant to be. You know, it, it, the, the sun came out, and, and it's like it's like the, the, the fates want us to have a great St. Patrick's Day. I think it's going to be great. Checked in with Matt Boyle just a little while ago. He's going to try to come join us here in a little bit to talk about this said nearly 50 entries in that we maybe have even added a little more so it's super uh super popular there's lots of entries you're going to see horses you're going to see wow. fantastic cars floats all kinds of things john it's going to be it's going to be a really nice return to the butte st patrick's day parade it's going to be what well, i talked to some people earlier and there is a buzz people are feeling really good about today and they're right. looking forward to it. We're right here on Park Street, just yes. down the road and up a block. They've got the food truck. That, a little bit different approach yeah. to it this year. They did. They kind of blocked off Main Street around the new M&M. And, &M on, and uh, yeah, no traffic going through there. People can get food. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be, it's a real safe environment. I think it's going to be a great place for people to congregate. And, and I just walked by there a little bit ago. The variety of the food they yeah. have over there is fantastic. Yeah. There's all kinds of things right outside the M&M. The new M&M. Let's talk about that, too. That's amazing. Yes. I mean, it's almost like the parade comes back, and then the M&M comes back 10 months after that tragic fire that destroyed this historic 130-year-old icon. It is back next door. Looks reimagined, but it is the M&M, and people are there. People are gathering to see it. And people are gathering here on the streets yes, as well. Again, the 2022 re return of the Butte St. Patrick's Day Parade, off for two years because of the pandemic. Right. If you remember two years ago, right before the parade, oh. the parade's on the 17th, the 13th of March is when everything shut down. It's hard to believe that was just two years ago. You, can, you could hear Butte's collective heartbreak. It was the hardest decision they had to make and two years later, but hey, it's the sun's out. And, <laughs> and there's the so back. many people out here, and you could not ask for better weather. Again, uh, our crew bringing you this to you. Uh, we're, I, can't, I can't tell you where else I'd want to be right today, John. I don't. I'm hearing the bagpipes coming up the road. <laughs> Me too. And I know. Drums, I'm so, and I'm excited. My heart starts beating yeah, a little I'm bit faster. I'm, I'm just super excited about that. So here for the next little bit, John and I are going to be introducing to some of the folks in the parade. We're going to be walking around. Here comes Butte uh, Silverbow's finest leading finest, the parade, yeah. right? They always do, every time, making the noise. There they are, Butte's finest. Here they go. They look forward to this. There's the bagpipes. You too, you yes, hear that indeed. in the background? Up. The cheers are starting. <laughs> the flag being presented today by the Civil Air Patrol, the Civil as they do uh, every year. It's just fantastic. So. They're a great organization, and uh, the Civil Air Patrol, they painted just this uh, summer the, the airplane in front of the Boot oh, that's Butte right. Mo Mooney Airport. So a great organization, does a lot of stuff. There's yeah, Sheriff sure, Ed Lester. Why, why don't you run out there and talk to the out. Sheriff just a quick. Go grab him hey, over there. Sheriff, Sheriff, we're, we're, out, we're live. How's it going? So far, so good, John. We'll know more in about 12 hours. Hopefully you'll have a great day. What do you think about the parade being back? It's awesome. There's a big crowd. We're going to have a fun day, and uh, everybody's going to go home safe. Good. I hope so. Have a safe day, Sheriff. Thank you. Sheriff Ed Lester right there with his, with his people and the Montana Highway Patrol. They're going to be patrolling the area. And again, make sure everyone's safe. That's fantastic. Again, I know that they've got a lot of work to do. Uh, the bad pipes you hear, the ancient order of Hibernians from Anaconda. Mm -hmm. Every year they've been a part of this parade for as long as this parade has existed, literally. They have. They're, they're excellent. And they and they arrive early. They were here yesterday right. playing all around town. And just uh, they just get the spirit going. And, and to right. me, this is this is how St. Patrick's Day should start. Yes. That sound, the magic, the smile, That's that's where it starts for me. There they go. Let's see if we can pick up the sound of that. Yeah, that's here they go. Look at that. It takes a lot of breath. I'm just going to walk along here so you can hear it.
That's the best I've ever played a bagpipe in my entire life right there. That's the best I ever played a bagpipe. I heard you. In my entire life, the best bagpipe I've ever played. You were in tune. And here we, what, what we got, the this is the ancient order of Hibernians. Absolutely true. This is the group that uh, supports all things Irish. Uh, they spend both time. They'll go to Anaconda and do the parade there as well, and they do the parade here in Butte. They have a busy every day. Year. Uh, the Hibernians have had some pretty important uh, members. Uh, Thomas Francis Marr, I think he was governor once. That's right. Yeah, yes, so, the first go. territorial governor. That's, That's absolutely true. There they are. Oh, Check and that the out. This, this is wow. absolutely a beautiful entry in this. Take a look at this uh, shot right here. Uh, as a that is an old timey one. That's one that ran in the days. That has been around a long time. That's a fact right there. All right. Uh, all right, we're going to take a quick break here uh, from the Butte 2022 St. Patrick's Day Parade. We're back with more of the action right after this. Welcome back to Butte, uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade 2022. As you see some of the folks coming through here now, John, uh, these are the Grand Marshals from years past. The 2020 right. and the 2021, they didn't get a parade. Right. They got to be Grand Marshals, but they didn't get a parade. Yes, and now, see, what a great idea. They, they're they going to do it today, this year. Absolutely. This, this is wonderful. What a great way to make up for it. So nobody feels like they missed out. Uh, and they are getting fan. a great parade this year. This weather is unbelievable. Absolutely. Well, that, that hey. car, uh, little known fact, I'm going to be taking Monica. that car home. Ooh, can we? Uh, you want to go talk, talk, go, go on, talk, you go talk, talk to, to these folks. Hey, guys, <laughs> come over here. I love this, Grand Marshals. How you doing, buddy? Look, we got various, tell me about this. John, and uh, I'm the Grand Deputy. Yes, we, we all miss Monica, don't we? Tell, we lost Monica last, uh, it was a year ago. And and she's a lovely person. She was She was my friend. And we miss her. What do you think about her being honored today? Uh, it's about, well, she just finally had time this year. <laughs> oh, yeah. She works she's with us. She she's in the heart, heart the matches, and uh, she's going to see that we're all okay. Outstanding. We love Monica. We love you guys. Have a great day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Right there, Monica Evans Cavanaugh. Finally had time. She did. Finally had time Finally to be in the race. That that's true. I love that. that. That That's very special to me, too, John. I think that's just fantastic. She was a busy woman. Oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, and one, of the icon, one of the icons of you. That, that's it. And and I love that about the Grand Marshals as well. That's the people. Yeah. It's the history of Butte. This is more than just about today. Yes. It's it's every day. It's, it brings back that past, and I'm a big fan of that as well. That's an important looking person on the there top of that. There is. I think that's uh, our, uh, I think that's that's why we're here. I believe that's that exactly right. Patrick? I think St. Patrick's right here. Let's see, let's see if we can get a little something from St. Patrick. I'm going to see if I can get St. Patrick to uh, give me a little uh, shout out out here. I forgive all your hangovers. For all of us? For everybody. For a year. And if you believe that. I got some land to sell you in Australia. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Forgetting all of your hangovers. I, if I, not, we're going to get you some land in Australia. I, you know, it, we, that's a saintly proposal if I ever heard one right there. So that, you take a chance whenever you interview St. Patrick. You never, you never know. really know. You just never know. The, the, so that's the, the, snakes, the snakes might have got to him. So, Who knows? We don't know. Those of you watching uh, this broadcast, your hangovers are forgiven. You're St. Forgiven. Patrick has done that. That's We're it. Solved. And Wonderful. don't be surprised if you get a deed to a piece of land in Australia. That's how that's going to go. That's wonderful. Oh, Centerville being represented. That's yeah. nice. Centerville uh, this Park. new park uh, proposal, as yes. I understand it, right? Yes. In the, the Centerville area. They've got, they've got a skating rink there. That's good. We can't forget about Centerville. People forget Butte is a town of little, little towns. Little villages. That's right. That's yes. exactly and right. Got to get, represent the Centerville folks. And then... Southwest Montana Veterans Home Veterans uh, coming home. down the floor right now. This is a fantastic. This was been in the works for a long, long time yes. for Butte, and and so welcome to have it this is. organization here in the Mining City. This has just been long overdue. Butte, so many veterans in Butte and in Montana, and there's a place they can go that will take care of them, and we love our veterans. And, and I don't know if you can see the front of the van. Uh, this van honoring World War II veterans. Wow. Sadly, there's not a lot of them left. No, right. there isn't. There isn't. I've, I've had an honor of interviewing many of them over the years. As, as you know, 
just yeah. what really it's really and, and sadly we're losing some we're of their losing. stories every day so every recognizing day. them here at st patrick's day 2022 i think is long overdue that i think is, that's fantastic that is so. great montana tech coming down montana through now tech. charlie ordigger yes. making his way down the line we love it we've got to love Char charlie ordigger hey, he's fact, got uh, a good interview he'll give you a high five but he doesn't talk much i, I believe that He's the strong silent type. That's how that goes right there. Is that right? The strong silent type, I believe. A good gear for the ore diggers. Hello. There we go. Making their way down the parade round is the gotta get Montana a, Tech ore diggers. I've got to get a high five from Charlie. You better go get, get Charlie a high five right there. Woo. There you go. That's fantastic. Oh, I think we got hurling. Let's uh, see if we can go talk. Yeah, I'll go do a little get, hurling get a little conversation thing, with some. that. Work with them. Come here for just a second. Um, I got to know that goofy looking stick in your hand what yeah. is it this is a hurl a it hurl. is part of the sport of hurling the national sport of ireland today 2 p.m we're gonna be playing a montana tuck fantastic what do you do with the stick so the stick you're gonna to have to go ahead and use to help balance the schlitter the ball as well as you can take hits with it you can go ahead and get shivy right here hold on well, back out of your way here <laughs> hey, go ahead no. Mario. Yeah. do it back and forth here i want oh, to see yeah. how this works Hurling, the sport of hurling. One more time, tell me about that. When's your match today? Tell me again. 2 p.m., Montana Tech. Where are you playing? Montana Tech. Oh. Up at Tech. Yeah, right up there at Tech at the, uh, at the football stadium. Right That's perfect. Good luck to you guys today. That's fantastic. All right, check this out. John Amy's going to John Amy's gonna hurl in the street. <laughs> you know, <laughs> There, 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 there we go, John Amy, the newest member of the hurling club right there. That's fantastic. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick break here again. You're watching the 2022 St. Patrick's Day Parade. We're back in Butte right after this. Welcome back, 2022 Butte St. Patrick's Day Parade. John Amy learning yet another skill. Hurling. 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 I, that was it. my first time. I, I think if you told people that you were hurling in the streets on St. Oh, Patrick's Day, they would think of something else. A different thing. Yeah, a, a different, different kind thing. of thing for hurling. Different sport. There you go. Yes. That's no it. More. <laughs> it's the Thomas Marr Hurling Club, by That's the way. Right. That's the who Thomas, they are. Yeah, I don't know where they came Thomas up with Marr. that name. Yeah, I, I don't it. know where they came up with that name. So. A great sport. And a rough sport, too. Pretty physical. They, they uh, knock that, you around. That, it's a very fun sport, for yeah. sure. So. Our next one here coming down the way, the Fremont Sky Kraken Hazy Pale Ale. Oh, a little That's ale. That's a mouthful to say and I, then some. I think a few people may enjoy some of those today. Uh, that's, <laughs> turn around here for just a second. I want to show you this. This right here, I, I, date, I dated this girl in college. This, this, this was my homecoming date in college right there. That was her. Always had a lot of yeah, plenty well, of hugs. you know, she that was, was it. Hugger. Different time, different place. That's how that all went right there, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Her name was Sarah, by the way. I don't know if you were wondering. Sarah, Sarah the Squid. Yeah, Sarah I was wondering. If you, I wonder if you were wondering. <laughs> yeah, we all knew her. But, hey, look what we got here. We got dancers. It, the Tiernan Tiernan the, Dancers. The Tiernan Dancers. I this. believe fifth or sixth year they've been here in the parade, and their dancing is fantastic. You think we should join in on this? We, we should. I think as they get a little should. closer out here, we're going to give this a shot. So. We'll give us a shot. How's, you your, know, how's your dancing skills? Oh, oh I'm, I'm warmed up. I'm Are limbered you, up. <laughs> you really? I've after been you, dancing a little. After you hurled in the street, after you I absolutely did. Dance, so that's I'm ready it. to dance. Oh, they're going to run. I can do this dance. All right, this let's see if we can get a dance right here. Let's start. Give us a dance. Right here, show me a little dance. Show me a little move. Give me a little step. Can you do it? Yep, I can't do it. I cannot do it. I can't do it, John Amy. Can't be done. Can't be done. And I am not nearly as cute as all those dancers. Well done. The Tiernan dancers, once you know, again, here at the uh, Butte St. Patrick's Day Parade. one of those St. Patrick's Day next to the bagpipes and the and the agreed you got to have the agreed here they go again here they go. take oh. a look at that uh, Matt, why don't you just oh, turn that around and take a look at that yeah here you want to take oh, that one let's go i'm gonna let's head go down that there. john's go gonna head down there. here they go <laughs> the tyranny dancers there they go they look great i don't think i got it i can clap <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! That was me! All me! No, it wasn't. The Tyranid dancers, these, these guys, they're great. Oh, 
Let's get back over here. We don't want to get run over for St. Patrick's Day. That was fantastic. I, I, don't know if that was, I don't know if that was the F word I was looking for, but that it was fantastic. Right no, yeah, that was, I, think, I think that's the one we were looking for right there. Failure on my part. There you go. That's the effort. <laughs> Platinum Real Estate uh, making Platinum their, estate. I believe this is their first uh, year in the uh, St. Oh, Patrick's great. Day Parade. I love the fact that we get new people coming. Uh, check out this uh, truck coming down the way here. Oh, this, my is, uh, this is an item that uh, you're... Uh, you don't see every day. This is no. how fuel used to be delivered oh my. Uh, here in Butte. That's uh, from Town Pump, of course, uh, based right here in Butte. They've I, been doing this for a long, long time. I love it. There's a lot of antique car collectors in Butte. Maybe. That's that's 600 gallons, it says on the side of that. If I do the math wow. in that, that thing is worth more than the car I drive. Yes, right Just now. $600 worth, or for 600 gallons alone. again. <laughs> that's exactly right. So there you go. Town oh. Pump again, being a part of it. Yes, we do. <laughs> Euphoria Wellness making their first appearance too. This is a got there. A, absolutely cool. Got Check, there, now huh? this is my kind oh, of car. Oh, here's here. another one. Go, go, go get him. Go get I'm gonna see if I can make a deal on this little car right here. How you doing? T tell me about this little ride you're driving. It's a 1922 Ford Model T. It's original, and it's 100 years old today. This year, 100 years old. All original, the coils what are, and the what are the chances I'm going to sound like this at 100 years? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. You look pretty good. Oh, yeah. you're. you're, you're I'm not it. sure you're qualified to drive if you think that's there. From Ireland back here. Which one? You're from Ireland. You're from Ireland. What do you think of our parade, do you? We love it. It's great. Yeah, give me give me something in Irish uh, for the village. Law sailor. Which means? Yeah. Happy St. Patrick's yeah. Day. Thank you for being with us here. We're so glad you made the trip here. Thanks for being here. All the way from Ireland, John Amy. Right on. All the way from Ireland. All That's how that way. works right there. In a 100-year-old car. That car, that car runs better than my truck. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's a fact. I, that, love, I love that this parade brings people from all over. All the way really from does. Ireland. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, that was great. There you go. Okay, well, hey, we're, we're, we're going to toss the break right now, but we'll be back with more parade. Welcome back to the 2022 St. Patrick's Day Parade here in Butte, and it is a Butte. I'm having so much fun, John. I don't know about you. This has just been fantastic. But the joy and the energy coming yeah. from the folks here on the street has just been fantastic today, so I, I love this. I'm feeling this. I really am. This is just great. It's a good vibe. Oh, a fantastic vibe. We knew it was going to be a positive with it being off for two years, but I don't know if I could have even expected this. This is just fantastic. So. I think people, yeah, there's just joy. This is what people need. We needed this. I, Everybody needed this. We needed this. I think the way you said that, it's not, it's St. Patrick's Day, you have some expectations in that, and we've missed it for two years. We needed to have it back. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that. A little dose of green. How about that? Yes. Uh, we got a little break in the action. While we're uh, talking here, the parade's going to catch up to us in just a little bit. I want to go back to the uh, to the M and M because uh, the community of Butte has rallied around that organization, unlike many things that you have ever seen. That's right. Um, it, it doesn't surprise me, but it overwhelms me how much support yeah. it has. How about you? It is. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the M and M is one of those. It's a business. But it means so much to people. Absolutely. I mean, true. it's literally, it was like, I heard many people say when that fire back in May, it felt like a death in the family. Right. They really felt it because it is a family place. So when, I mean, that day, while the while the building yep. was still burning, people were saying to Selena Pankovic, yep. the owner, yep. whatever you need, right. we'll help you rebuild. Well, and they did. They came together. So, you know, in 1989, I lived in the Finland when I started working here. Yeah. And that was my breakfast. 99 oh. cent breakfast, oh, two wow. pancakes, two eggs, two links of bacon, or two strips of bacon and two links of sausage for 99 cents. Good. Coffee included. I'd have starved to death. Uh, hey. Get, go grab him. Well, go grab, go grab, grab Let me grab him. Hey. Come on. Hey, JP. Hello, Got John. time for an interview. What do you think? What's going on? Oh, this is a, this is wonderful. You know, we've been waiting for this for a long time. The people deserve it. The sun's shining. What a better day to be in Butte, Montana, Butte, America. We love it. Absolutely. Of course, this is J.P. Gallagher, the chief executive of Butte. I mean, I was just talking to Chet. I feel like Butte 
needed this. We need this day. Yeah, I think we've needed it for the last couple of years. You know, our people have been so resilient over this whole time. We're, we're just excited to be able to go out and celebrate. Everybody's got a little bit of Irish in them today. You know, our thoughts and prayers go out to the people of Ukraine. So that's not far from our minds. But today we celebrate and we become what we all love to be, and that's Irish and Butte, and not a better place in the world to be. Not bad. Thank you, JP. Outstanding. Thank you, JP. That was fantastic. Well said. Well said, JP. Yes, definitely. Uh, the, the United States Forest Service, this is their first time into the parade. Oh, great. Honoring the uh, firefighters, and unfortunately, well they've deserved. had to do a lot of work. Yes, absolutely well deserved. Well deserved. They and, work as hard in the past few years. Oh, they're me. out all summer. You, and, you, and you and I go to work. Yes. That's not that. No, no. <laughs> they that, they risk kind of their lives, and they work hard. And absolutely yeah, they don't get true. a vacation in the summer. That is absolutely true. So we're glad they're here again. Yeah. We're glad the U.S. Forest Service are joining us for the parade for the first time this year. That's Definitely. fantastic. So packing Wonderful. that pretty big steel chainsaw right there. I was seeing that chainsaw yeah. cut through. Uh, <laughs> I, I've never been man enough to do that. I'll tell you that right here. <laughs> oh, oh, they're throwing oh, coasters. Throwing, so got... throwing out some koozies here. What are we doing? Elite, Elite Electrical. electrical. Elite Electrical. I'm, I'm going to go find out why they're throwing this yes, stuff out here. Yes, they're throwing. What are... All right, guys, tell me why you're throwing this stuff out. What is it? Um, It's like cushies and shirts. Cushies and shirts. What's it say on it? What? What's that say on there? Um, These are Zinkies, but we're from Elite Electric. Huh? Yeah. Elite, tell me about Elite Electric. Uh, it's a work shop that uh, they go somewhere to fix stuff. Fantastic. Workshop to go for to fix stuff. We love that. If you need something fixed, Elite Electric is where you're going to want to go, right there. And they're throwing out stuff today in the parade. So that's how that works. Elite Electric throwing out some parade stuff right there. There, is, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the shameless plug right there. That was that. That was it. I'd pull my shirt up and show you that, but there's no advertising on there. So that's that's not going to happen, John. But we would all enjoy it. <laughs> We're not we, it would give us a thrill. Uh, the other uh, thing that you see in parades in Butte, notoriously for this, is the presence of candidates. Oh, yes. It is a great place to come and meet literally yes. thousands of potential voters. And right. so folks use that very well. Both the 4th of July Parade and the St. Patrick's do. Day Parade do that. Uh, and there's no exception to this. We have several candidates <laughs> walking up and down the streets here, meeting their constituents, right. showing that they want to be a part. And let's face it, there is a benefit to doing this that has yes. nothing to do with running from office. Right. You're going to be in the parade in Butte for exactly. St. Patrick's Day. It doesn't get any better it's than gotta that. It's got to be the best campaign <laughs> you could ever do, and it's the, a way for them to press the flesh, as they absolutely say. Absolutely true. And, that and meet is, the voters. That has historically been a part of Butte. Yep. Uh, if you were running for a statewide yep. office uh, for for as long as Butte has been around, you came to Butte oh, for the yeah. parades, and you, you pressed the flesh, like you said. So that's going on today as well. So we have several candidates walking up and down All the, uh, the parade route as well. Yeah, that is, this is definitely, and, and Butte is, you know, a big labor town, and politics has been very important in this town, and, and they, for years, you got to come here. you got to meet the folks. While, while I'm doing these parades, and I've been a part of them for a long time, and so have you, um, I, I always often stop and think, what would the founding fathers, what would the oh. original pioneers of Butte think about this parade today? <laughs> I think they'd be really proud of it. it oh, it's, yeah. it's changed a lot, obviously. The vehicles are faster and the clothing's a little different, but this has been such an integral part of Butte's history that yeah. you just can't, it, it, I it, think it they is. would have been proud of it. You know, in, the, in, in a modern era where people use the internet and all that to yep. campaign, yep. in Butte, you almost have to do this old school way. Agreed. Walk among the people and talk to them. And I. And, and people of you respect that if you do that. Yes, they do. They need that one-on-one. -on -one. All right, we're going to take another break we'll take here. Break. Uh, you're watching the Butte 2022 St. Patrick's Day Parade, and we're back with more right after this. All right, welcome back to Park Street in beautiful Uptown Butte, Montana, home of the 2022 St. Patrick's Day Parade. I'm full of the Irish spirit. I'm I, feeling it. I just uh, people have told me you've been full of a lot of things, but ah, now it's the Irish spirit. That's hey. what it is. I was curious. I just yeah. I didn't know for sure. <laughs> but I, uh, I, I <laughs> <laughs> and and they'd be right. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I love it. There's All right, music. we're about halfway through. Yeah, your thoughts on the first half? What what oh. what, what stands out to you right off? Wait, the I loved everything about it. I love seeing the new. People there. I really like seeing the, the Forest Service people there, the firefighters, and, and uh, 
It's just been great, uh, the uh, dancers. I'm gonna tell you, my favorite part always is doing that. In fact, come right over here right oh, now. Matt. Here's somebody, step right Here's in between somebody. us. Get right in between right us, between Matt. Us. Uh, Matt Boyle it's joining us right here. <laughs> Matt, uh, uh, we were just talking about an evaluation of this parade. Uh, give me your evaluation of it. I say it's pretty dang good. I, I'm, I'm very happy with it overall. Uh, a lot of colorful floats, a lot of loud floats, and everybody's as happy as I've seen in a few years. Uh, th this, you do parades well. You've been doing this for a long time in that, but you haven't had a chance to do this one for a couple of years. Did you feel a little rusty when we were starting? You know, as far as uh, as far as the floats coming into the staging area, it's actually the best flow we've ever had. No problems. Uh, so we shook the rust off real quick. <laughs> I gotta know, who did you talk to? to get this today. Yeah, how'd you, you know, it's stuff? funny, the, the very first year we did the parades, we, it was this exact type of weather, mm -hmm. and then we didn't have it for the next five. Right. So to, to have it back, it's, it's a good warm feeling, and uh, it's gonna keep people outside a lot longer today, and it should be good for businesses, too. A good warm feeling. I couldn't have said any better myself. Matt Boyle, a parade extraordinaire master yes. up here. Thanks for joining us, Matt. Thank you, Matt. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well done. He's done such a great job he with does. these parades over the years. He is a go-getter. He <laughs> does. He 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 makes things happen. Here we go. Oh. The uh, St. Patrick Catholic Church parishes oh, yes. uh, being represented today as well. They've been a part of this parade for. Well, I, I think since the parade, it oh, became gosh. a parade. They've been a part of it from the very beginning, <laughs> They've obviously. They've been a part of Butte for, <laughs> forever. The, the beginnings, is, exactly right. This is right. Butte's, uh, yes, the Catholic Church. This is a wonderful. Look at that. They've got a, a really spectacular Isn't that beautiful? Wow, wow, take a look at that. that the Immaculate Church, yes. The, I, I'm never, I never ceases to amaze me how much detail these folks put into this and how much they go. There's Father Patrick Barrett. Oh, I'm going yeah, to just go say, to I'm gonna go say hi to Father Patrick Barrett for just a second. Father Barrett, come over here and talk to me. Chet Lehman with uh, uh, KBZK KXLF. Yes. Yeah, you're back in the parade after it seems like so many years. How is it? Well, it's just, it feels so wonderful to be back. And this is the time of day in St. Patrick where all the families are together. We have different generations with all the generations. There's an incredible atmosphere. It's a joy. I mean, really, it's a joy today. So. Enjoy your Thank enjoy you. your day. Thank you, Father Patrick Beretta, joining us this morning. It is a joy. I, I don't think I could describe it any better than that, John. Exactly. And and, and Father Beretta is just a, one of those great members of the community. He does everything. He's there for people. And, and yeah, he's always inspiring. A few years ago, I had a really nice bike ride with Father Patrick Beretta. He's a, he likes to ride a bike, too. I'm letting Luke Shelton standing here. Let him know that. Bike riding. <laughs> Father Patrick Beretta, he can get on a bike and ride, too. So there you go. <laughs> yes, indeed. Wow. Well, this is fantastic. Again, if you're not familiar with where we're based here, I think it's important to know. You and I are on the street level. It's where yes. all the fun is happening. Everybody else except for uh, Luke and uh, Matt Reed running our camera, <laughs> they're stuck inside the parking garage. They are. Oh, I know. Actually not stuck inside the parking garage. Some of them are on the roof of it. Some of them, in fact, uh, yeah, they're working they're on our camera shade. up there right now, uh, getting our shots. Um, that's what it takes to bring you this. It We've does. got the drone flying above us as well, um, trying to do everything we possibly can to bring you the sights and sound of 2022 St. Patrick's Day Parade. And it's funny you mentioned that, because usually the you've been here on years where it's harder to be out here where we that's are. That's a fact. That's true. <laughs> and and you wish you were in the uh, the shade, but now I, I love it out here. I think uh, Matt Boyle's uh, evaluation of that is about once every five years. Yes. So we're on the five year cycle, and and we were due to have one after two years of no parade. So there you yeah, go. yeah, this is you know. Those in charge of weather, ultimately the higher powers, yes. even know how important the Butte St. Patrick's Day Parade was. I was talking about Mike Hurd and Matt Elwell. That's yes. what I was talking about. Yeah, those oh, are the, those the ultimate powers in weather. Yeah. They are the guys. Yes, <laughs> yeah, they're the ones. <laughs> yes, that's Everybody it. tells me, but what's Mike Hurd going to, what's it going to do? What's the weather going to be like? They, they and say, they know. And, and if it's bad, they say, tell Mike we're not happy with our weather. That's it. Like he, I, and, you know. and, and they take the good and they have to take the bad in that. Um, we've seen people walking around here with the buckets. Let's talk about it because I know yes. you understand what the bucket brigades are. What are they doing? Why is that such a big deal? This is big. They, this is They're collecting the money so that we can have parades like this. Right. So that we can have events. Uh, they, 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 they cover a lot of the events in Butte that, are, that you're going to have during the summer. And... Yeah, when you contribute to this, you keep these free events going. 
Yeah, the, the, the thing that I love about it too is those buckets are full when we're done. Yes. Because people here along the street say, I like it and I want it to keep coming. So. Yes, indeed. All right, here we go. Southwest Montana Community Health Center with their float and their bubbles. You want to go get some bubbles over there? Go Let's see if you can get some bubbles, bubbles out there, see. John. Hey, who we got? Hey, who are you guys with? I'm John with... West Montana Community Health Center. Oh, wonderful. You guys are really important to yeah. the health of this community. What do you think of the parade so far? I love it. I love the turnout. Isn't it great? Yeah. Isn't it great? Well, that's yeah. wonderful. We really needed this. Two years yeah. without one. How, how are you? You were up earlier. What was it like uh, up, up the road? Oh, it was really good. Everybody's really happy to see everybody in there. Well, super. Well, yeah. thank you. Enjoy. Yeah. Wonderful Southwest Community Health Center. John, the uh, lacrosse guys are heading your direction now as well. You better check in with them. Oh, yeah. It, this is a little different stick than the stick, yeah. This is different. I got to talk to a little different stick. Hey, lacrosse guys. Hey, you lacrosse. How you doing? I'm John with KXLF. What's up? How's Not it? much. It's pretty good. What do, what do you guys do? Tell me, what's your team like? What do, what do you guys do? Uh, we, we go out there, we do some FSU. Yeah. You, you, now lacrosse, what's lacrosse like? Uh, it's like football, hockey, and soccer. Love it. You just, sport, isn't it? Yeah, you just you're, go out there and hit people. Right on. You're a big guy. You, you, you must just go knock out there a lot of people, people down. Huh? You oh, yeah. just go out there and hit people. Yeah. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. John, you just go out there and hit people. It's a lot like a staff meeting. That's my favorite sport. <laughs> he just... Yes. Woo! Boy, they, they can walk, too. They I think I walked about a half a mile. <laughs> I lost Where you. Are we? I lost, lost you, Matt. You guys are blocks away now. So <laughs> while you guys are doing that, I'm out here getting handout. I'm out here getting candy. Uh-huh. Ah, Reese's oh, peanut butter cup. Thank you very now. much. Yeah, 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 you guys go wander off and do your thing. I'm going to stay back here and eat candy. That's how that's going to work. You're getting all the candy. Yeah, that's it. Woo. Uh, I'm going to have to share this four ways with the crew, so oh, we'll have to go. we'll divide that up later. That's how that's going to go. Boy, well, <laughs> if you get hungry, there's plenty of places to eat around uh, here, by the way. Oh, my gosh. We've got the food trucks over here. The, yes. Everything is open, Uptown Butte. I, it, it's just... It's a Thursday. It is. I it's know. It's a Thursday, believe it or not. It feels, it feels like, like a Friday, it, Saturday. It, it really yeah. does. It's this a holiday. I love that. Again, here we looks like we're near the end of the parade here, John. Uh, kind of winding it up as we come down through here. So let's uh, just kind of recap uh, what we know about uh, St. Patrick's Day 2022. I mean, um, we've waited for it for two years. Yes. It's back. The M&M is open. Yes, We've got the food trucks over on the street around them. I think it's just one of those, it, everything has fallen together like it it's is. supposed to. It is, and I think that's, like you said, we, like, I talked to J.P. Gallagher. He said, we need this today. We, this is important. Um, they made a difficult decision to cancel it the past two years. Right. But we feel safe. We feel great now. And uh, I think it is time. People are on the street. I think the party's just beginning and, and matt boyle probably summed it up best he goes we had no problem organizing this everybody yep. was back into it they all wanted to be a part of it and you can see the crowds up and down the street here the ryan clan coming down the street oh, here yeah. uh bringing that they've been doing this for a number of years too they just like the parade so much they enter in it as a family and they run down the street isn't that great isn't that cool I, that, that, yes, not, not that selling anything is, it's just that family. is as butte as you possibly can get here a couple of our car dealers are bringing their stuff down through the way oh, yeah. here as well some new cars that you get a chance to see we thought that was the end of the parade actually no, they're lined up more. there's a couple more coming the flashing red lines were kind of deceiving they were to me deceiving. i don't know what that no, was about we still got so parade. we do have a couple bit more but again I, I like what you said about jp gallagher and, and matt boyle summing this up very well we've got nothing but smiles on both sides because yes. the crowd just keeps bunching in closer and closer together it's around wonderful. us and it's family this this yes. really i know that sounds really hokey and all of that but i'm going to say you got a couple thousand family members you on do. the street with you today if you come to Butte for you St. Do. Patrick's Day. There, there's never a stranger in Butte. This there's is just There's never great. a stranger in Butte. That is absolutely well said. Um, check it. I can't see who this We've is coming down the street. Looks they like, have oh, a horn. Basketball. This is oh, it's the sixth grade, this sixth sixth grade basketball grade. team. I'm going to go, team. I'm gonna go see if I can let's see if we can get a little information from them. I'm going to sneak by here. So. Where are you guys from? Butte, uh, Butte. Well, you're, uh, you did something here pretty cool with some basketball. Tell me about it. Uh, we took this. We took a win in uh, state. You took a win in state. Who did you have to play to win it? Uh, Margaret Larry. You did. That's great. How old are you guys? 
Uh, 11. You're all 11, sixth graders, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Is uh, sixth grade school better than sixth grade basketball? No. <laughs> there you go. Uh, go to school or you'll end up doing this for a living. Yeah. So yeah, keep doing school. Go BC! Go BC! Go BC! Go BC! Go BC! Yeah! There you go. We got the champions. Come on. Oh, here we go. You said for coming up behind us here right here. Let's uh I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get up on this float. Let him stop for a minute. I want to get up here and talk to Coach Kelly for a second. I'm going to get up here and talk to you. Hey. How's it going? Hey, good. Yeah, tell me a little bit about this uh, group of boys in front of you, Coach. Oh, what an awesome group. They were a blast to coach the whole year long. I'm just so happy for them. Yeah, and Coach Kelly uh, joining me this morning. Uh, this is uh, pretty spectacular to be able to do this. And what a way to win a game the other night. It was. They, I mean, you couldn't have won a game in more dramatic fashion. It was like straight out of a movie. Actually, there was a movie called Hoosiers. So it looked just like it. Right. But, uh, yeah, what an awesome support we've had for all these guys. And you can only do this in Butte. you got to love it. That's fantastic. Congratulations Thank to you, you and Butte Central Maroons. You're Class A champions. It's fantastic. I'm going to see if they'll slow down so I can get off of here. Yeah, careful getting off that, that truck. Chet. Oh, those old knees. The dismount. Every time the dismount. Knees. How about that? Yeah. Managed it. Good uh, job, buddy. Uh, if you would contact management, I'm going to have to take some time off and have a hip replaced. <laughs> I love it. Brody Kelly, the head you, coach you, of the new Central Maroons boys race. basketball team right there. You, One of the class acts. Ups. Again, we mentioned that shot at the end of it. I think it's important to shout it out to. Yeah, we had to shout that out there. Dougie Peoples Dougie hitting Peoples. that 30 foot jumper to yes. win that championship. So that's the, how that goes hey, right there. The Peoples, they, they, are, they know basketball. They, 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 they do know a little bit about Butte Central basketball, me. don't they? It would be a Peoples to win that game. Another important part of Butte, uh, oh, yeah. St. Patrick's Day and Butte in general are the unions. This Teamster is the Teamster uh, Joint Council number three. One of the many unions, yep. unions started not far from where we're standing right now. In yeah. fact, right here in Butte many, many, many years ago. Yes, indeed. They call Butte the Gibraltar of labor. And that's that's a, why. That is exactly right. Um, it has been a part of Butte for almost as long as Butte has been a part oh, of Butte. Oh, gosh, yep. We are all about labor. And there and That go. is a fact right there. Oh, it looks like you got some motorcycles to oh, talk motorcycle. to out there. You oh, do that. I, I I'm literally, this. I got I to gotta see if I can adjust my angle. They're going to dodge me here. Let me see. Hey! Let's go Just, check out the motor. Hey, who we got here? <laughs> hey, who is this? Maverick Motorsports. What's that? Maverick, Maverick Motorsports. Motorsports. You guys just started here. How's yep. the parade? Are you? Awesome. We're loving it. Having a good time. That is wonderful. You, you guys, you moving a lot of motorsports? A lot oh, of people? Yeah. Always busy. We enjoy it. All right. Well, give, us it. A, give us a good, give us a wheelie. Sounds good. <laughs> There you oh, go. Yeah. <laughs> I almost caused an accident, but, but you know, it's you good video. You can't it's be video. You cannot be held responsible like, for what happens in the parade route into Butte St. St. Patrick's Day Parade. That's right. That's uh, right. I'm going to angle with management, see if I can get one of those big four runners uh, for what a new news that? vehicle. Yes. I, I'd like to get one of those for a news car. I wouldn't mind that at all. That's fantastic. I I think it's super interesting. We've got a hundred year old car. You've got the most modern toys you can possibly get in the parade and a little bit of everything in between. Yes, exactly. And hey, Butte loves its motorsport. Yes, I mean, they let's do. Yes, remember they who do. is this is the this is the hometown of Evil Knievel and his spirit I lives heard on. rumors that he liked motorsports. <laughs> That's a fact. That's right. So people, yeah, they're going to they're going to they're going to rev their engines in Butte. I'll tell you that. I, I the, the diversity of it. I think you talk about that. We talked about the Teamsters. We've talked, you know, you have uh, unions, you have mining, you have all of those things. You have restaurant. It, this is as diverse a community yes. as you'll find anywhere on the planet, and that's one of the many things I love about it. It is a melting pot. It, it is, is a melting great. pot. That Everything is absolutely you. true. And there's uh, here comes one of our little bucket guys down the street right now. So, again, we talked about those buckets as they're going up and down the street. They're taking donations to help pay for future events here in Butte, and it's a big deal. It, without that, yes. this doesn't happen. This doesn't just magically get thrown nope. together. Nope, it doesn't. You know, Butte's not a rich town, but it has got to be the most generous place. If people, they will give and give till it hurts. And, I, and they. I, I like to say that it's not a cash rich town. Yes. It's a very, very rich town. It's just not necessarily a cash exactly. rich town. Exactly. You, yeah. you said it well. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly.
Boy, there's just more. It just <laughs> keeps, co it just stop. keeps coming and coming. Wonderful. That's exactly right. I do see the horses coming down the direction as well. Do I, do I go talk to him. I'll go talk. I'll go see if we can find some, if I can do it without scaring him. How's that? We'll see what happens there. I can't see who this truck is first off, but the horse is coming Let's down the way. Let's make sure it looks like. I don't want to get kicked in the head, and I don't want to. I don't want to have to worry about the horses coming down this. I'm going to see if I can just get here to stop for a minute. Horsey. Come here for a second. Tell tell me about uh, your group here. Yeah, we're with Butte Auto. Butte Auto. That's the what is one horsepower vehicle uh, we got two horsepower but they're just split in half right one a piece right yeah just one a piece but we have uh the local toyota subaru dodge and chevy gmc dealership in town driving the one horse power vehicle I it. there we go thank you very much she, she well, saves a lot in gas yes she does Look and that. you just have to have a shovel behind her that's yeah, all you got to do so <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps going. There's more horse. There's more parade. There's a little bit of a, a space in here. What do you think so far? I, yeah. Even better. I see this every year, and I know it just sounds like you're just talking. To, it gets better and better every year. But this year, because we missed it for so many years, uh, I'm just I'm, I kind of choke up about it because, yeah. like you said, it just keeps coming. The crowd just keeps filling in. Uh, the horses keep riding the wrong direction <laughs> on the street. I mean, it has everything that you could possibly ask for in a parade. It is great. <laughs> I just I'm loving it. I, it's better. I want to know if there's a reason you went and talked to the multi horsepower motorcycle yes. and I got the one you horsepower. Got the one horse. Is that an age thing? Are no, you throwing no, that at I, me? Yeah. It's a height thing. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> Wow, I, yeah, <laughs> you're one I'd of the few. Talking. You're one of the few people that actually uh, thinks that I have the height thing yeah. going. So thank yeah. you for that. Yeah. Everyone looks tall to me. Yeah, I'd be talking to the horses' fat box. <laughs> That's knees to you and me. <laughs> oh, check this old car out. This is a Model A, I believe, oh, is what yeah. that is. Oh, you got it. There you go. That is absolutely that cool. That is amazing. Collective elevation. Yeah. Oh, that's Matt Boyle's business. That's uh, Matt's business. business. Yes. That's correct. It's one of the uh, dispensaries here in town. Now, that horse is a horse of that's a different a, color. You better go find out about that. Is that I, a leprechaun walking in front? I don't know. I, She's got wings and I'll everything. See if that's, I get that's like a hey. unicorn. Maybe talk to the leprechaun. Hey, leprechaun. Or one of you guys. Hi. Is there somebody I could talk to? Hey, you're the leprechaun. Who are, who are you with? I am with the Emerald Isle Equines. Oh, wow. What are you guys, are you here in Butte? Or? Uh, we are from all over the state. All over. Sorry. Oh, I probably scared them. Yeah. Hey, that's a unicorn. It is, yep, we got I, a unicorn right here. Oh, I love it. Well, yeah. wonder, what do you guys do? We are from all over the state. We do all kinds of stuff. We're a group of girls that just like to get together and celebrate in the parades and have the horses out for everyone to enjoy. Well, fantastic. You guys look great. I'll get out of the way. We might not have any horses in the parade, so we ride every parade to make sure Butte gets its horses. There you Wonderful. go. Well, you look great. I love your outfit. Thank you so much. Look at those horses. Aren't they just magnificent? Wow. I, I love amazing. seeing that. I love seeing that in the parade as well. So That is amazing. And I... I, I think we're uh, nearing the end. This I think this baby. is the that was false ending. I, I think that earlier one was a false ending. In that, that was a false. This this was a big ending. I like that horses and people dressed up. One of them was a unicorn. I thought I they saw, were a myth. I saw that too. I, I saw real. wings on it. I, that might have been Pegasus on that wow. one as well. So they're doing great. Yes, I think we are just about wrapping up. It looks like I, we got a few. I, I feel like I don't want it to end. That's I know. I, I feel like it. You know. But this parade just needs to keep going on and on again. It is. The weather is too good. I'm. Not, I love being out here. This is. Um, I'll do a quick shout out to uh, our sponsors that, during this broadcast as well for making this possible for us to be able to be out here today to do this. Um, the parade doesn't happen without a little funding and neither does our broadcast of that so we thank our sponsors as you see those uh, advertisers there please uh, give them a shout out and thank them for uh, allowing us to come out and do this john and i'd be out here doing this whether yeah we broadcast it or not we just look less foolish if we're actually putting it out somewhere exactly <laughs> yeah that's that's really the reality of where we are in all of this this doesn't this is not work this, this no does, that's, exa well, that's exactly that's exactly right it does not feel like work it is just a wonderful day and we are definitely wrapping up because we got the city crew coming behind the, so uh, things so wow jet what we, do you think we made it 2022 butte st patrick's day parade as successful as it possibly could be 
Good, yeah. Hey, I give it a 12 out of 10. This is better than I, a 10. I could not agree this with your rating perfect. system more. That's fantastic. Again, I'm Chet Lehman with John Amy. You've been watching the 2022 Butte St. Patrick's Day Parade. We thank you for sharing your time with us. Happy St. Patrick's Day from all of us at the MTN News Network. Uh, until next time, have yourself a great day. Aaron, go broth. <laughs>